Hi guys and welcome to Kind Folk. My name's Lucy and today we are going to be taking a look at tree pose. One of my uh, favourite postures for working on my balance, for working on qualities of resilience and grounding, thinking about strong, stable roots rooting you down into the earth while you expand and grow tall like a tree. So one of the key things that I think most people say to me about tree pose is that they just don't feel stable, that they feel like the foot is slipping off the leg um, and they just don't feel a sense of balance. And so today I wanted to try and give you a little breakdown, um, looking at the right muscular activation to help you feel a little bit more grounded and at home in your tree balance. So let's begin by bringing the feet down onto the mat and just taking a moment to feel the earth beneath your feet. We need to externally rotate one of our legs out to the side and what's important is we make sure that the knee and the ankle go in the same direction. So just bring your hands up onto your hips and just take what with one heel just lift one heel up so i'm using my right leg so my left leg is going to stay grounded and i've peeled up the heel of my right foot i'm keeping my hands on my hips just to have an awareness of what my hips are doing and then i'm just going to turn i'm going to rotate out to the side and so i want that rotation to continue all the way down the leg now at the same time i'm not sinking into this hip I've got this glute active, quad active, and I'm standing tall here. So already this leg is, is working hard. So tree pose can be a really dynamic pose and you're really working the, the muscles, the calf, the quad, the glute of that standing leg. So we're gonna just take the ball of the foot now and bring it to the, around the ankle bone of the other foot. We're not putting any pressure on the bone or the joint, but we're just connecting the heel with the leg just above the ankle. So this is a really valid option for tree pose. So what I'm doing here is staying really active in this left leg, and then this leg is drawing out to the side. So I'm opening up here, but my hip bones stay forward. So I'm not turning, keeping the hip bones forward and just drawing the knee out towards the side. Good, and then from here, just bringing your hands to your heart center, taking a couple of breaths here as you draw your navel in towards your spine and you lengthen up. So lifting out of your hips and your lower back. All right, so this is a really good place to be in a yoga class if you're just feeling like you want to experience tree pose, but you're not ready to take that foot off the floor yet. And this is absolutely fine. This is a great option to just practice. So I'm hugging everything in, I'm lengthening up, and I've just brought my hands to my heart center. And then you can release, and we'll just try that on the other side. So thinking about that right leg, grounding through the feet, energizing up through the leg, peeling up that left heel, turning the knee out to the side, and then just bringing the ball of the foot next to the heel and the ankle, resting the heel of my left foot just above my ankle bone. So again, I'm not sticking the hip out to the side, lifting, lengthening, bringing the hand to the heart center. Taking a couple of breaths here, and then release. So the next stage up from that would be to bring the sole of the foot to just below the knee, um, around the calf, the shin and the calf area. So again, just take your hands onto your hips, grow tall through your spine, and really start to anchor down through that left foot, energizing up through that left leg. Good, and then we're gonna just bring the foot to the middle of the, uh, in between the knee and the ankle. And again, we're rotating that hip out, the knee and the ankle and the toes are all going in that same direction. We're not sinking here, lifting up and out, drawing the navel in. Now, I want you to actively press your foot into your leg here. Good stuff. And then bring your hands together at your heart center. Beautiful. Now notice those toes on your standing leg. Are they gripping the earth here? See if you can soften the toes and maybe even lift the toes up off the floor. Beautiful. 
So now from here, we might be able to start reaching the arms up and overhead, straightening into the arms as we reach up and really focus on that length through the sides and front and back of the body. I'm drawing my knee out to the right for three, two, one, and then slowly bring the hands to the heart center and release. Beautiful. So just shake it off and we'll take it straight to the other side. So once again, rooting down through that foot, taking our time as we move into this. And equally, you know, anytime you fall or wobble, embrace that. Every, everything is an opportunity, an opportunity to learn and to grow and just check in on our boundaries. So don't worry if you, if you have a wobble, we all do. So bring the hands to the hips, start to peel up that left heel. And then when you're ready, bringing the sole of the foot to somewhere in between the knee and the ankle. Notice if you've started to collapse into this hip start to grow tall and energize through the leg. So the hip is externally rotating, the knee, the ankle and the toes are going in the same direction. This left glute is, is fired up and active and I'm drawing my knee out to the left side. Bringing the hands to the heart center, growing tall through the spine and the sides of the body as I press the sole of my left foot into my leg. Lovely, and then you might Find that you can start to extend the arms up, making sure the toes on that right foot are nice and soft, and you're rooting down through all four corners of your feet, navel in towards the spine. So everything working, everything active, and then slowly releasing the hands and releasing the leg. Nice work. So, you know, when we do this pose properly, there's an activation, there's a, there's a dynamism to it, rather than just kind of plopping the foot on the leg and just being here. It's so much more than that. We lift, we lengthen, we draw in, and we stand strong and tall. So the next option is bringing the sole of the foot to the inner thigh. And this is often the time where people find they just really can't find that balance. So come to it with an open mind. So again, start to feel the earth beneath your feet, feel that quality of grounding here, thinking about spreading your roots. And then we're just gonna bring the knee in towards the chest, slide the hand to the ankle, and then place that foot as high up the leg as you can. Good, now notice if you place it there and you just hang out, what happens? So we wanna reverse that. So by doing that, what we, to, to do that, we want to press the foot into the thigh, but at the same time, press the thigh into the foot. So we've got these, these two opposing forces where they're almost glued together like one body part. Draw the navel in, find length through the spine, and just draw the knee out to the right side. Bring your hands to your heart center. Soften your left toes, engage those glutes, and then start to lengthen through the sides of your body, lifting and lengthening through your lower back. Lovely, and then inhaling the arms up and overhead. Now one more progression on this side might be that you release the right hand, the back of the right hand to the inside of the right knee. And then maybe you start to bend, but we keep pressing thigh into foot and foot into thigh so that we don't lose length through the side of the waist. We keep lengthening here. You keep breathing. And that standing leg is working so hard. Slowly bringing the hands back to the heart center. Sorry, up and overhead. <laughs> and then exhale back to the heart center. Now we come out of it just as carefully. Take the foot away from the leg, bring it around to the front, and then slowly step it down. And just shake that left leg off a little bit. Well done. So the quality of having that tension through the legs, and there's that push-pull of the leg, the thigh pushing into the foot, and the foot pushing into the thigh. It's that kind of quality, that activation, that's going to help you feel a lot more stable. It's gonna help you feel like your leg is glued there. It's not gonna slide away. And if you feel like you need to put your hand on a chair or a wall or something, then 
do that and just start to allow yourself a little bit of support in this posture because when it's done in the right way in the way it's meant to be done there are so many benefits and i'm really feeling now the ankle the calf the thigh my bum you know it's all activated it's all burning a little bit as we switch it all on so let's take it to the other side now so we're going to send the weight into that right foot as we lengthen up rooting through the foot and then just bringing that left knee up sliding the left hand to the left ankle and placing the sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh and immediately when we do that bringing everything in so pressing thigh to foot foot to thigh and finding length through the side of this body good and then drawing that left knee out to the left hip bone stay pointing forward and nice and even here bring the hands to the heart center don't forget your breath and maybe allow yourself a little smile here again don't worry if you wobble on the inhale maybe we reach the arms up and overhead and then on an exhale, maybe we open up the branch and then maybe we start to blow a little in the wind, but we, we're careful to lengthen, not collapse. Nice, that feels really good. Keep pressing foot to thigh and thigh to foot. And then slowly bring the palms back together and down to the heart center. Nice. So from here, again, really carefully, we remove the foot from the leg, bring it around to the front, and then let it release down to the floor. And we just shake it off. So if you feel like you are quite comfortable in your tree pose, there's a couple of other things you could do to challenge yourself a little bit more. So the first thing is to extend the arms up, and then maybe see if you can shift your gaze playing with that gaze shift really challenges our balance. So maybe you start to look up in between the hands. The other thing that I sometimes like to teach in my classes is to have you close your eyes in your tree pose. And again, it's just that um, sense of awareness, that perception. How does that change when you close your eyes? So the other ways that I love to play with tree pose is in a side plank or in a headstand, making this beautiful shape. And the same thing applies, you know, we want this dynamic engagement, this connection, this sense of grounding in whichever way we're doing our tree pose. So thank you for joining me and I'll look forward to sharing some more yoga with you soon. Bye for now.